The first governor in the family was Cousin Thomas. He was governor of Plymouth Colony, which is where the pilgrims arrived on the Mayflower and had the first Thanksgiving and all that. Plymouth Colony eventually became part of Massachusetts, which was later governed by Cousin Cal. He went from the governor of Massachusetts to the president of the United States, a career path Cousin Mitt hopes to emulate. He did the governor of Massachusetts thing, but failed to secure the Republican Party nomination in an election that was eventually won by Cousin Barry. Cousin Miss Daddy, Cousin Jorge, was also a governor who failed to secure the Republican Party nomination. Instead of Cousin Jorge, they opted to go with Cousin Dick. Cousin Tommy managed to win the Republican Party nomination twice. He lost his first bid for the Oval Office to fellow New Yorker and former governor Cousin Frank. No big deal losing to Cousin Frank though, since he's the best presidential candidate in history, rocking an insane four wins with zero losses. Cousin Tommy lost the next presidential election in a heartbreaker to this guy. Poor Cousin Tommy. The longest reigning governor was Cousin John Taylor, who was governor of New Hampshire for 14 years. The shortest term of office belonged to Cousin Hiram III. He served as governor of Connecticut for one day. He had already won the election for governor some weeks before he won a special election to replace a senator who had died. So he got sworn in as governor, added it to his resume, resigned the next day, and headed to Washington. If you think that's cool, just wait till you hear the rest of his story. Other governors in the family include Cousin Henry, Cousin John Jr., Cousin John Samuel, Cousin Billy L., who's famous for his quote, to the victor belong the spoils, in justifying his buddy Andy Jackson's corruption. And the Bush brothers, Cousin Dub and Cousin Jeb. Our family governorships aren't just limited to the 48 either. Cousin Sarah was governor of Alaska. Cousin Sanford was governor of Hawaii. And Cousin Ted was governor of Puerto Rico. And back when America owned the islands, he was governor of the Philippines too. We've had our share of governors, but there are a whole bunch of states, and they've all had lots of governors. So I'm sure there's probably plenty more governor cousins out there we just don't know about yet. 